Hi everybody. I want to tell you a story. It's about UK Treasury, bad politicians and a new king. It was the year 1994. My dad sold some piece of lands in Silet with the help of an uncle in Manchester Gulab Mia for my new wife and a little baby boy Omar. We gave our £40,000 to the new wife. Guess what happened you're right. She ran off with the baby and my £40,000. She had a boyfriend called Dustbin. Obviously he was a drug dealer and she was a recovering sex worker. I was really frustrated. I mean we sold most of our lands in Bangladesh and yet she ran off with a drug dealer. Like they say you can't make a bad girl into a housewife. I jumped off a bridge intending to break my left leg but accidentally my head hit a stone. I was knocked out. All I say was darkness. I eventually woke up. I saw a news reporter next to me a police van too. The reporter said they declared me dead for three hours. I borrowed 10 million pounds I took it to my uncle Gulab in Manchester. I had the king of Saudi came to me to see me. He wanted to give me 40 million pounds. I declined. Her Royal Highness Elizabeth II came to see me. Then a miracle happened. My ex-wife with the whole family came to Manchester to see me. The whole family had been in prison many times for theft robbery and sex trafficking. They lived in West Street in Rochdale. I told them all to walk naked for two weeks if they wanted my money. Sully said she will do it as she broke of wit her drug dealer boyfriend dustbins. For the next two weeks the West Street family walked all over Manchester without any cloths. Sully had sex with at least 40 guys and got arrested by the police six times until she was imprisoned. Then David Cameron came and put all my £10 million in his bank account. He and the Royal Guard put £10 million all over the four rooms including money sacks in the kitchen, bedrooms and on stairs. I really did not know that David Cameron sold drugs in Eton College. He thought that all Asians are dumb and dumber but did not know that a drug dealer always gets caught by law eventually. I was upset with the royal family for not putting David Cameron in prison. I threw £9 million in pubs and clubs all over Manchester. I battered David Cameron and the royal guard and threw them out. It was Begum Khalida Zia helped me then. The Prime Minister of Bangladesh. Damien Rojab cursed the royal family the economy and Brexit. In 2016 David Cameron came to gamble with Damien. Damien said I will make 80 million people leave Brexit and if I win you leave from Downing Street. I even asked the Royal Queen Elizabeth II to honour the bet. David said you will give me 50 million pound if you win said Cameron. I said fine. It was a gamble on his favour but I knew the British people very well and would not support a drug dealer. It all started in Galleon Desert when Jesus was tempted by the devil three times. History repeats itself. COVID-19 happened in 2020. Damien and King Charles was aware of it in 2026 in Seven Sisters Flats in Rochdale. The moral of the story is crooks eventually get arrested by the long hands of the law. And do not get tempted by Satan just keep your cool.